Okay, <clears throat> I've been trying to get some video of these YKS uh, 2204 2300 motors in the air for about three weeks, <laughs> and anything and everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. My receiver died, I had transmitter problems, I, uh, battery problems, just anything and everything except the motors. They've been working well. Uh, video camera even has been acting up. But I have a few minutes today. I had a good flight on them this morning without the video camera, so we'll see how they do with the video camera today. Um, or rather this afternoon here. Hopefully they'll be a little more willing to show off and hopefully this will go well. We'll see here. Oh, and this is running Dronin with the, the new public release of Dronin and auto-tuned of course, with Dronin. I'll include the link to the tune down below. And that was a lot slower than I thought I had my rates set for, so once again it seems the camera has brought back the curse here. Now it feels zippy again. There we go. <laughs> yeah, and the camera curse is back. <laughs> that was pilot skill, or lack thereof. Let's try this again here. Hey, oh, that was kind of a weird launch. All my fault, but still kind of weird. I haven't flown in almost two weeks, and it's a little... Uh, a little hard getting back in the saddle here, flying acro mode on new firmware. It really is nice and stable. I mean, this is acro and it feels so locked in. I mean, right here, I can, uh, let me get it here. I can just pretty much go hands off in acro once it's stable. With motors, are anything but trouble. They've been working well for me. And as you saw there, I've given it a few good crashes. And they have handled it just brilliantly. While I'm at it here, let's just see how Horizon is. This is a uh, drone in. And this is not my best build here. This is pretty much a junk parts frame. That yaw is nice and zippy the way I have it. Yeah, I see the issues with our uh, Horizon here that a uh, couple of the developers have been working on. So I'm going to go back to Acro. That's happier. I know, I'm not flying as, as aggressively as I normally like to here. I wish I was, but I'm just really not feeling it today. These motors are no complaints for me on them. For, and I, I noticed the price has been dropped. They're down to $18 now. So uh, for under $20, I think they're a pretty good deal. <laughs> See, they take a beating. No. <laughs> not going to go anywhere with the battery not on there. Yeah, and well. Not going to go anywhere with the props looking like that either, I guess. So, finally got a little bit of footage of them. I wanted to get more, but I got some at least. And these, uh, these, these motors are going to do it for me. I'm going to fly them for a while and uh, keep seeing how they do. Hopefully in the next few weeks I'll have more time to fly and we'll see how they go. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post them down below. And... Uh, if you liked it, I doubt you do, because this is a pretty junky video. <laughs> Some pretty mediocre flying. Uh, but if you do, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you want to see, and I'll try and get more of it. Hopefully. Take care. Alright. Finally got a few minutes to give a quick test in the daylight on these YKS motors. And have the new uh, 
first stable release of Dronin on here too. So let's see how it goes. It's, uh, I just ran an auto tune. So this is purely auto tune settings. And I forgot to up my rates, so I'm not going to be doing any flips. But it feels really nice. Very locked in. Very responsive. Oops. That wasn't right. Forgot about that. What did I just knock off? Oh, just my protectors on you. Wow, didn't even break a prop. Bent a few, but didn't break one. Yeah, forgot that, uh... <laughs> I just commented that I had the rate slow, and I forgot about it. But, let's fix that and give that another try. I'm back. We've got the YKS 2204s on here. Uh, I've got some brand new King Kong props that I've yet to try. I haven't heard great things about them other than the fact that they really take a beating. But, let's give this combo a try. First thing we're going to do is we're going to auto-tune. Thanks to Dronin. Ooh, I can already feel this guy's got a lot more power than it did before. We're going to pop here into auto-tune. We're going to do our dance for a minute. Whoa! That didn't look right. Hmm. That did not look right at all. Let's see what's going on here. Let's try that again. Yikes. <laughs> well, I definitely have a lot more power with these motors. But I'm not sure why the auto-tune failed there. That crash was my fault. That was bad piloting. The auto-tune, I'm not sure why the auto-tune suddenly crashed. We'll give auto-tune one more go, instead of me being silly and popping it around before it's tuned. Keep it kind of low this time in case it does that again. Not sure just what went on there. I'm not exactly following best practices on this auto-tune. I should be tuning from the drone in defaults, but I'm actually on a previous auto-tune from different motors and different props. So, we'll see. Let me uh, get this tune finished. We'll record it, see how it does. My family just got home, so I'm going to have to go talk to them. And there we go. Let's land and go see how that tune did. <laughs> 